Russell back with Gwinnett Lines in beautiful. Ooh, look at that beautiful sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is July the 22nd, 2023. And on today's video, I'm going to uh, do a lot of maintenance on the Tremstar because it's right at uh, almost the 600 hour mark. And I'm going to be doing the oil and filter. I'm going to be changing the hydro fluid. I'm going to be replacing the air filter. But I wanted to show you a little trick, very briefly, that you can use. It's pretty much free to do. And I'm going to prove to you and show you why I do it. So one of the things that you may or may not be aware of is you can put magnets on your oil filter. That's right, just a regular. These are just different magnets. Um, they're on the filter all the time. In fact, every single mower that I have that has an oil filter has magnets on it. And both vehicles have magnets. I've been doing this for years and years. The reason that you want to do this is very simple. Your engine obviously wears a little bit every time it runs. And the filter is only able to filter, let's say, 20 to 30 microns. But there's a lot of stuff because uh, it's smaller than that that cause engine wear that go through the filter media and it continues to get circulated through the oil and then it just promotes more wear. So what you can do is that to capture some of the ferrous metal like iron and steel uh, that could get sloughed off from the piston rings, um, if you have iron cylinder uh, liners in your, uh, your engine, all that stuff wears and some of it's too fine to go get caught by the media. So what happens is you take the magnets and it gets caught up uh, on the inside of the oil filter and doesn't get circulated and will significantly lengthen the life of your engine. Now you can use any kind of magnets. You need to use magnets that are fairly strong. So I would say like a 50 pound pole or better. The best magnets that you can almost get for free are the ones that are in hard drives, computer hard drives. You take the hard drive apart and they have a huge magnet that's um, almost in the shape of a U. You can take that and put it on filters. Um, I have those on the vehicles, but every single vehicle that I have got magnets on it. Been doing that for years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the oil. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but I'm gonna take an oil sample and I'm gonna send it off to the lab because I wanna see what kind of health condition the engine is. And the oil sample, if you're not familiar with that, I do it on my vehicles periodically. You can do it on the transmission, uh, but most often it's done on the engine oil. And that will give you a breakdown of the wear metals that are in contaminants that are in the oil. Because Kawasaki recommends on these engines that you change the oil and filter, I believe it's every 100 hours. Now, that may or may not be good for your situation. Do you need to change it sooner? Do you need to change it? Can you go a little longer? You wouldn't know that unless you were able to do an oil analysis and you don't want to do it every single time uh, but at the 600 hour mark it's a pretty good time and the oil here I got this engine up to operating temperature um, you know it's still it still has an amber color to it uh, but it gets dark because it picks up contaminants and that's exactly what it's supposed to do so what I want to do is I'm going to pull an oil sample and I will share that with you guys when I get it back um, it's just a little bottle. I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, but what the main thing we're going to do here in this video is I'm going to cut open this oil filter. I've got a device that will cut it open and we'll look and see if the um, if there's ferrous metal on the sides and the bottom where the magnets are and just see if it works. So we'll be right back. All right, so uh, there's wind noise. I prom oh uh, yeah. I apologize. <clears throat> so I am going to use this device here. Cuts open oil filters nice and clean. Doesn't leave any debris inside the filter. And you want to do this when you're doing inspection. Um, so basically I'll just open this up a little bit. And it's adjustable. You can do really, really big oil filters or these small ones. So I just tighten this a little bit. It's got a cutter wheel.
And as I'm going, I'm just twisting the handle just maybe an eighth of a turn. It's really hard to hold on to. I may need to get some channel locks. Yeah, let me grab a pair of channel locks. All right. So it pops the top off, or actually cuts it off. So I use Wix filters normally on the mower. I'm not opposed to the Kawasaki, but these are super heavy duty. So when I examine a filter, I'm just looking at the... Um, just the inside, see if there's any debris. This is a, like an anti-drain back valve. Here's the actual filter media. It's uh, got metal caps and it's got the paper pleats in there. And I do look in here to see if I see any chunks, any metal, anything like that. And then uh, let me dump this oil in the can over here. So hopefully camera will pick this up. You can see, hopefully with the light, the imprint of the of where the magnets were. And you can, it's certainly very visible in the bottom. I'm gonna take my finger and just see how that comes off. That's iron. So that is minute particles of iron that are, I think this filters maybe around 20, 20 to 30 microns, all right? So that iron, these iron particles would, are small enough to pass through this filter, right? You can't catch everything or the filter would not flow any oil. Um, there has to be a compromise between filtration and also oil flow, but you can see here where the magnet was. So I'll rub my finger on it and it comes off. It's, that's iron. So this would have been additional wear on the engine that's not there now because the magnet took it out, kept it, held it, and uh, it's very, very evident like in an automotive filter that flows a ton of oil but yeah this is a try this guys this this will definitely i don't have definitive i can't tell you if you do this your engine will last you know an extra 500 or a thousand hours I, I don't know i'm sure somebody could do a lab analysis on it but the point is that it's basically it's free to do i mean why wouldn't you do it put them on your cars um if you got mowers, motorcycles, whatever. And then, uh, of course, just, you know, there's the new setup, and I just put the magnets back on there. So, all to reduce wear in the engine. I mean, that's all we're doing it. So, all right, guys. Well, hopefully that little tip helps you. I'm going to go ahead and do the hydro uh, oil. You can also put magnets on the hydros. However, on this one, I haven't really... Found a good way to do it because you've got the guards over the filters but if i find a good way to or magnets that'll fit under the guard um, i'll definitely show you guys that but yeah give this a try try to try to get uh, at least 20 pound magnets if you can get you know 50 or 100 pound pull magnets um, i'll put a, a link in amazon where i got this and also a link in amazon where I got this. This is a heavy, very heavy duty aluminum. This cutter wheel right here is replaceable and these are adjustable, like I said. So uh, this is good stuff to have in your toolbox just to keep a good check on, uh, keep a good check on what's going on. Oh, the oil analysis. Let me, uh, let me show you guys how to do that. All right, so basically I just, um, I didn't film this part, but I just took the sample jar that's in here and I originally took the oil and just put it in there. 
poured a uh, little bit of a uh, holds a couple ounces in here and then there's a uh, there's a little form you got to fill out about the information about the trim star or car whatever you're doing and then you put it in this postage paid uh, envelope and mail it off and then they'll email me they'll email me and they'll send me a uh, paper but I will share that with you when we get it back and we'll see what kind of condition and health this Hustler Trim Star has at about 600 hours.